Hey, oh man, back in this bitch. Hey man, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, your host, Rex Guy Dragon Squad. Bitch, back here with another reaction, man. Today we here, back here with some more Momoka, man. Um, I said in my last video uh, when I roasted, uh, roasted low tier God. Um, I was gonna react to this video because he was like watching a little bit of it to get a little more of an idea of why people hate her. Help hate Momokun. Momokun, best motherfucking uh, BBW cosplayer. Um, lewd cosplayer. Yeah. What do you call it? Yeah. Um, little mama slid in my DMs. She's seen the boy video. She slid in the DMs. Look, you talking about got me feeling like the man. I ain't gonna lie, though. I, I, I was happy that whole entire day, though. Shout, shout out to Momo Kun, though. I was motherfucking happy that whole, whole rest of that day, though. That's crazy. But, um... I mean, I already got a general idea why people kind of hate her, and I kind of already debunked all that. That was in the video where I, where I, I roasted low tier God. Fucking roasted that nigga. That was like my best roast, my nigga. I fucking roasted that. Huh. These cashews ain't even fucking honey roasted, my nigga. That's tough. But, um... I already got a general idea why people hate her, but I mean, she's like I said, she's the best BBW Luke cosplayer, and she's the most hated too. But like I said, I already debunked all that shit. Go, go check that out. Don't please. I mean, if 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 you do comment talking about the reason, I mean, I guess I'll respond too. I guess I'll respond, but I mean, just go look at it because I already debunked everything. But um, I see something interesting in the video. We gonna have some bitch though. You know, you know, why I think people hate her. I think they hate her because. She 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 making a profit, you know, off of looting. You know, niggas niggas mad cause they can't have her. That's that's tough. They can't have her, so they they tearing her down. I think that's why I guess y'all because y'all can't fuck her. That's, I, yeah man, yeah okay. I I think that's the reason, bro. These little little virgins ain't trying to ain't. Yeah yeah. Let's get into this bitch though. Let's get into this shit. Though. You're too spectacle for myself. YouTube, up. it's Cecil McFly here. I know I haven't made a video in a while, and I know my 39 whole subscribers have missed me so much. Huh, but yeah. I've been That's real busy, tough. and so here I am today, coming back to give you a bit of insight into the world of anime weeb culture. And why, why, why your arm like this? Why her arm like this? <laughs> That's tough. If you're kind of under a rock, That's tough. or you are absolutely not at all knowledgeable about nerd shit, cosplay is this hobby where a bunch of nerds gather and dress like their favorite media characters. Yep. I do it myself, and to me, it's a huge excuse to get real shit faced, dress as my favorite character, and hang around with other people from the series I'm in, get drunk together, and have a blast for an entire party weekend in a hotel. Hey, but hey put that middle finger down before I break your ass. As you know, with any hobby that caters to kind of nerds who are willing to pay for things from their nerd fandom, yeah, there are a bunch of people to take advantage of those people and bank on it. And I am not hating on these people. These people are the professional cosplayers. I'm not hating on them. A lot of them are really talented people who can build like a suit of armor. They look really great. Yeah, Momo. I, think I haven't seen her build a suit of armor, but that beekeeper may realistic version of their from scratch. That shit was tough. But that's not what I'm talking about today. I'm talking about this one. Why well, your hand like this? That everyone on the internet has been kind of talking about in the cosplay community. They are either fapping to this girl or they're hitting on her. <laughs> exactly. This girl is called Momo now, most people probably don't know who Momokun is. Look at that. Come she on, bro. I think she's super cause famous. Cause famous is a term we use in the cosplay community. Just dropping that term on you. I know. It's going to be hard to follow. But she did buy like 20K of her Twitter followers. So there's that to consider about her being so cause famous. I mean, well, she'll, she'll need them now. She got over 100K. So. Of half naked so. girls who want to be cause famous is that she's the body oh positive thick cosplayer who takes lewds and she has fat tatas and a pancake ass that white knight it's not is pancake really but okay kind of pretty but not so hot that she's unattainable how so do the how do the new but those people people sometimes come to me and go hey cecil totally my real name why do you not like momokun are you a fat shaming cosplayer and my answer to that is always i don't hate her she's not that interesting she's not interesting enough to hate 
I find her laughable and her drama is really fun to follow. So this video is all kind of a summary of why disliking Momo-kun doesn't make you a fat shaming cunt, it's just reasonable to hate her. So Momo, also known as Mariah, started her cosplay days kind of going as Thick Samus and like all mm. fame hungering cosplayers, she wanted to be the next Jessica Nagiri. Jessica Nagiri is a super yeah, the goal. Hit cosplay chick. She's really hot. I don't know if she has drama. I don't care. I don't follow cosplay yeah. drama that much. It's a hobby to me. I got real life to handle. You can still follow me on Instagram. Please. Sell some McFly on Instagram. Like my cosplay page. Mariah's early days were mostly cringy, where she tried way too hard to be that hip nerd girl to get attention from them loser neckbeard boys. But as the story keeps unfolding, she kind of got revealed to be a hypocrite, where she was body positive but bullying. So we're gonna go into her whole drama, and I really want to emphasize why I personally don't think she needs to be seen as this body positive nerd grill who we should all idolize in the community. So let's start out by this tweet collection right here. Bunch this is of a girl or a guy. I'm, I'm in that thinking about that. Thought that's known as Momokun. You'd say they're old, but like, who the fuck throws this word around? Even as a whoa, joke. Whoa, whoa, hold on, mama. People can see it. Anyways, we're off whoa, to a good start. Whoa, Let's whoa. Keep going. But a big reason I dislike this lady whoa. is because while making a fuck ton of money from her Patreon for being a cosplayer, and that is her one career, her cosplays are kind of mediocre and rushed. I myself work full time and part time at two different jobs. So the cosplays I make myself and don't pay somebody else to make are not always the best. So I'm not gonna say I'm better than her. But look at this Yoko cosplay from Gurren Lagann right here. Those stars look like shit. This is her full-time job. They are shitty looking. They are misshapen. What the fuck? This is your full-time job. This is your professional career. Mm. They look like that. Mm -mm. No, girl. This is worse than what I do. And I don't even get paid for it. She also claims to make things very rushed. And I'm like, this is your job, girl. In addition to that, she will take cosplays that she has paid someone else to do or bought on AliExpress and said, oh, I made this. I think it was a penny stocking cosplay she did. I think she did docking. And she's like, oh, I made this dress. And people are like, oh, no, you didn't, girl. I found it on AliExpress. Oh, and going on her whole claiming she made things. So there was this other cosplayer prop maker, Korean Barbecue, recently. So this dude was, like, involved with her and she commissioned him to make some shit for her. And, like, on the side of all of this, they were kind of hooking up right. They were macking on it. Whatever. Ooh. Whatever. No judgment here. But little Miss Mariah wanted him to commit to her and he was like, nah, don't want it. So then she Damn, that's him, tough. And she exposed him. But Miss Mariah here wanted him to commit to her. And he was like, nah, nah, I don't want that. So she started a shitstorm. And all her white knights went after him. And his mm. social media went black to avoid the drama. There's a picture she tweeted with him. Where, look, it's her right there. And his face is X'd out. What? Ah, uh, he's not really that excited. But because of that, he went all black on social media. <laughs> she bullied a talented creator off the internet. That wasn't enough, though. She didn't cut off ties with him, even though he wanted to cut off ties with her. She still needed them props for her Beekeeper My cosplay from the game. Overwatch. I know you probably never heard of it. It's not that popular. Sarcasm. Which then she claimed to have made herself. But then she got called out on it on Twitter. No, Twitter. Instagram. That was it. She got called out Ooh. that she did not make it herself. And then she was like, oh, but I repainted it. And I made most of the costume myself. But then she got called out on it. And was like, no, well, he did make those things. But, like, I made most of it myself. But you need to credit people when it's the things that they make. Even if the person is black on social media, you should mention that you did not make that. I'm I'll buy a lot of pieces to my costume. I'm like, I will mention it. And I'm not cosplay famous either. I've got 300 likes on Facebook. You should like it though. You should like me. Says McFly cosplaying on Facebook. Thank you. But what I think is, y'all Patreon, she buys most of the shit she makes. The real moral of this is y'all Patreons are being duped by thinking that she is a professional cosplayer because she buys most of her shit, probably using your Patreon money to not fund the hours that she should be creating cosplay, but by binge drinking and eating Taco Bell. And occasionally maybe do a half ass cosplay and then also her boudoir suits where uh people grow up her fat titties cool right now along with the korean barbecue drama a big thing that happened with her was blue dragon lolly if you don't know mm. anything about this let me break it down for you so she cosplayed a character named hana from an anime called dragon Lily. it was probably a few months back before the korean barbecue drama i'm not quite sure who the fuck hey yo I, I made a main dragon track link in the description down below that shit was fire so hana is a younger body character who's supposed to be a Lolly, who is an underage character. I'm not sure what yeah. his actual age is. I'm not a big fan of Dragon Maid. That's not really my type of thing. I really like fighting anime. I'm not really yeah, me too. like the anime, but it's a huge thing 
going on right now. So this character is supposed to look like an underage, underdeveloped girl. She posed this character subtly. Like, it was very creepy. And then she kept saying something like, I've seen Connor's thighs. Those thighs are not innocent. I'm like, the character is supposed to be an eight-year-old body. Maybe not mentally. I don't know the actual age of the character, but physically, she looks like an underage. Very underage yeah. girl. Oof. It was just creepy. Like, oh, actually, the worst part is this drama from the Kana thing got so big that even I, a cosplay person who doesn't give any crud about the cosplay community, the girl who just wants to wear costumes, get drunk with friends, and talk about anime, actually knows about other cosplayers. Like, this got so big. Like, believe me, past my conference, I give no shits about cosplay community. You should still follow me, though, on Instagram and, like, my cosplay face page. But fuck Momo. I'm your girl. Like me, please. Please, please, please. Please make cosplay great again. Am I right? Yeah, okay, whatever. Anyways, like I was at Otakon, this thing got so big. I was at Otakon this year. There was a t shirt that said Ravioli, Ravioli, don't loo the dragon lolly. And if you don't know <laughs> what a lolly is, it's an underage girl. Where yeah. does Kana is? Kana is a lolly. There's a meme shirt about Momokan, and I'm sure she's beating off her meaty meat flap to this attention. And like, stop. Please don't give her any more attention. We just need to be like, please find a real job, Momo. This is not for you. Hit the job, not for you. Anyways, let's uh, wrap this up. This is why I don't think Momocon's that great. If you think Momocon is this great force for body positivity and hot, thick girls, or a girl who's a talented cosplayer, and you are a person who spends her money, please rethink that. If you want to beat off to a chubby girl dressed as your anime waifu, you honestly did find your Valhalla, though. Kudos to you. I think your money's well spent by her Patreon subscription. But if you think that she is a great representative of body positivity, or your girls in cosplay community, or people who are talented cosplayers, you are wasting your money. The girl is only 22. Like, I feel bad because shit. She already had lipo twice, and she has all this internet drama who knows what she'll do when she gets old and no amount of foundation is gonna make her look cute like her patrons are gonna drop but uh please make anime and cosplay great again and send me a pic of your nip in addition to that please subscribe comment rate all that shit and if you really feel inclined follow me on instagram twitter and like my facebook page they're all under Seth mcfly my facebook page is Seth mcfly cosplay i swear if you do i will do a lewd shoot and actually hire momocon to let me touch her fat titty peace out well Damn. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks, bro. That sucks. Um. Lothar got already and got on that ass. But he just like skimmed the surface. And then. I still roasted his ass. Fucking me. Uh. Link. Um. It's on my channel. Go check that shit out. 20 likes for a diss track on that nigga. <laughs> But, um, this, this, this was more, this got more in depth. This, um, I, shit, I really hope this shit don't, don't get a lot of fucking views. I might be fucking helping it, though, but I hope, like, this video don't get a lot of views for Momo's sake, because that, that, that could kind of end the I mean, it could, but... At the end of the day, the people that's pay, paying for these lewds, they don't they don't care about how you make it as long as you hot, my nigga, for real. But the thing with the N-word, Momo. Momo baby. Halo mama. You can't you, you, you can't do that. You, you just can't do that. You can't, bro. Hold on, my nigga. When the fuck, when the fuck she posted on bitches? Hurry, <laughs> hashtag replace the Disney movie with her. <laughs> wow, that's tough. That's tough. Okay. These were like. This was like 2012. To 2011. Okay. So, so, so these are pretty old. That's like six years ago. I'm pretty sure she's grown more as a person. Um, I know in that I does video I did with him saying when he was saying nigger faggot, I was like, nah, you, you can't do that. Like, because you know you, you just can't do that. And I'm pretty like Momo. I I, I know Momo not racist, but I dubs. I'm pretty sure that nigger racist, bro. Cause that shit, when he was like, like people don't own any businesses, even though he was reading something else, he still like laughed and smiled at the shit. Like, yeah, that's true. Like, he found that shit funny. Like, no, you, no, but.
And that was like a, a recent I dubs, my nigga. This this, this was like more, more like six years ago, six seven years ago. But when she was like, yeah, how, so how, how the fuck old was she? So so, so she's twenty two now. 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, so, so she was still in high school, and y'all, y'all, know high school is, nigga, they be on some other shit, so, so she was 16, 17, so, um, but still, you, you can't do that, but hey, you can't get away with it, cause, you slid him a DM, so she fucking with the kid, she fucking with the kid, I, I might allow you to, to, to use that language around me, my nigga. I might. It it I don't it, it depends. You know, cause you hot and you momo cunt. Um You might can get away. You might can get away with it, you feel me? But um if was anybody else then no 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 sir. Um Cause like I don't know, it's just like you you, you can't use that N word if you weren't like white people cannot use that N word. Unless you were like like, like, even if, if you were not growing in that environment and you did so happen to have black friends that said it and allowed you to say that, no, I don't know. If you was brought up in that, in, in that hood environment, then I can see, then I can see, because you were brought up in that environment, but you're still not black, but I mean, still, but, um, yeah, you can't do that, cuz, but, you're still in the you fucking with the kid, I'm fuck with you, I let that slide, but, um. Shit with the light bulb. I mean, yeah, but I don't care about that. They don't they don't care about that. Um, what else? She was like, 20k followers. We don't care about that because 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 she got well over 20k. It's, 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 it's not it's not like she got 20k right now. Like, like she got like 25k right now. She paid for 20. She got like over. I think she got like over 200k. Plus the 20k, so we, no, we don't care about that. What else? Um, trying to take credit for somebody else's work. You can't do that. That's tough. That man worked hard on that shit. That's crazy. That's tough. You can't do that. You can't do that. But, um... I know, I know I was making a point about her actually making some cosplays, but she... I don't even know if she made the motherfuckers. I know I, I know I've seen a couple where, like, she took pictures and, like, the room was, like... Filled with the whole bunch of cosplay shit, uh, um, whole bunch of cosplay uh stuff in the room, like she was actually work, working on something. So that that might have been the only time she actually genuinely did something, worked on something. But you can't, damn, she she took credit for that man's shit. She was she, she was trying to cuff. He was saying, no, 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 no. He said, no, no, no. And she fucking harassed that man. That's crazy. That's crazy. He did all that for you. He low-key put money in your pocket, to be honest. I don't know if he gave him a cut. I mean, I know she was giving him some butt. Like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? But, um, he, he, he's, he, he's putting his 20K, 30K in your pocket each, each month. But, um... What else? Yeah, but yeah, that's that. That's tough. She fucking just harassing that man. That's crazy. She's still getting his bread though. Fuck you, me. And then that. Okay, so yeah, that's. I I understand that. That that's tough. That's that's a bad thing. Um, that one cosplay. I forgot what she said with, with the stars and shit like that. Like in the photo shoot, that shit looked fire. But I I guess in person. It, I, I, I mean, that's probably just one bad picture. And then, like, again, like I said, like, you get, I know, I understand you're getting as much money, and you should be making, like she said, decent, decent, you should be making these decent to, like, like, not that great cosplays. She needed, she, she needed to aim more for decent and actually, and, and good. I mean, everything she did as fire is, is good. Um, I, I, I have no problem with it, but I mean, I, I can see what other people are saying. But then again, it's like, why am I paying the same amount of money? Why am I paying a lot of money for these materials when I could just use, you know, something, you know, something simple, something a little bit homemade, easier, cheaper to make? Because 
how how else am I gonna get profit if I'm paying a lot of money for this shit? But I understand she could she could pay a little bit more to get the cosplay looking a little bit a little bit fire. I mean that's why she's paying these other guys like you know, paying people to help her. But um, if that's the case, then at, at least put in the description that um made by me, him, and him instead of just you know I made this 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 is my photographer and shit like that. But fuck was that, my nigga? I think I'm seeing shit, bro. That's tough. I think I'm seeing shit, but, um... But, yeah, I, I, I see what your people are saying, though, with that. Y'all niggas probably like, how can you support this person? It's like, I mean, I ain't paying for shit, though, but like I said, she's she slitting your boy DM, so I fuck with her. Um... Like I said, I haven't paid for no lose. Why, why do I need to? <laughs> but that I was about to say, that's Ray Mitchell. What the fuck, Momo Kun? When I get some old cloud, you know, hundred K, maybe one day we can collab. You feel me? Um, I ain't got no cloud now. That's why she ain't fucking with the kid. I mean, she fucking with the kid, but it's like that's actually pretty tough. I'm pretty sure she gets a she gets a hundred fucking DMs a day. She took the time out of the day to get my shit up. Get, get fucking. Say she loved me. That's that that that's that that's that, that, that's actually pretty nice though. And I only got two K. Like if I, if I had a hundred K, you probably would be having the conversation right now. But I still fuck with her. But I still see what she's talking. I still see what she's saying. Um, only thing I could see. I mean, sure, her career might die down. It it happens with with age. Um, everybody's careers die eventually. It's, it's just the fucking camera gonna cut off without my notification, bitch. Don't don't do that again. Please don't do that again. Um. But yeah, it it just matters like how high your fucking what's it called your prime is. Momo was at a prime. She's the most talked about, my nigga. <laughs> for, and, and it's gonna be that way for for a minute because people just still have the same amount of haters. Niggas are not getting niggas aren't getting tired of bashing her because like. This has been going on for like what a year, maybe two years. She, she been getting, like like when pe people first seen her as maid, it was it was all it was all on her dick, heavy. And it's like now nah, this is like not not, not niggas hating, and I don't, I don't think the take gonna die down anytime soon. But she she's still getting publicity, she's still getting money. She out here with Funimation, she she partnering up with Funimation, so she out here making bigger moves and shit. Yeah, <laughs> but all that I can say is that you know she keep doing her thing. Perhaps maybe, um, just do a better job of the cosplay. Cause like the May shit was fire, but I find out you ain't even do. You probably you you, you probably did about thirty percent of the work. What he actually made the material. If you say you just painted it, like come on, bro, how hard is it to paint for real, for real? But. I man's mean, made the material and shit like that, so that's that you made you you made thirty percent of your cosplays that that were actually had thought and some shit put into it, but it's alright because I fuck with you, you fuck with me, I, I love you. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's all I gotta say about this man. Um, like I said, I'm gonna react to her Q and A response. That's, that's that's probably the last video I'm gonna react to of her. That's the only video left. Fuck you talking about to react to. You know, see a little bit of side of her, her personality and shit like that. But yeah. Anyway, you guys post your comments down below. So what you guys thought about this man? Um, leave a like if you enjoyed. Just like if you didn't subscribe. I upload every single day except for on Fridays. And if you're this bitch dragon squad, bitch. Signing off. Wait, was was there another point she said? I I, I think that was it. Huh? She wanted me to just make the neck. Okay, so wait, that, that's all she made. Wait, hold on, hold on. So the beekeeper made cosplay. Hold on, my nigga. Hold on, hold on, cuz. Okay, so so somebody's texting David. Okay, okay, so.
Okay, so I would say she probably did 50%. Because all he did was make the neck piece and the gloves of that whole beekeeper made cosplay. That's it. Everything else was her. So. Okay, never mind, never mind. I mean, it's it's. I mean, at least not the nigga made a, like seventy thirty. This this yeah this this about fifty fifty, or sixty forty. This is it, like she actually put in work. So okay 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 man. Man, mama come help me. Man, mama gang in this bitch. Dragon Squad bitch. I'm out this motherfucker, bro. Hell no. Oh, side ah. But um okay oh yeah I I just remember this guys um. This is a uh, future Rexel. Yeah, that's too much to answer for that shit. <laughs> that's tough. But um, I want to address this before I forgot uh, all about this before you guys be like, oh, you missed a valuable point. Um, but um, the shit with the the main dragon lowly shit. Um, I because this was I didn't even know what the fuck she was cosplaying to be honest. This is before I start I watched uh, Dragon Maid. I, I call it Maid Dragon. That's what the fuck I call my shit. Uh, but um. I, that's crazy. I made a track and I don't even I don't even know I don't even watch the damn episode. Well, I watched the first episode. That, that's a lie. Like the first five minutes. But um, her cosplaying like underage characters, um, lolis and shit like that. I mean, I I understand. I don't know most anime characters in high school anyway. Um, but this one is not in high school. This one. Is, I don't know. I don't know how she made six, five. I don't know, seven, eight. Yeah, that's that's kind of young. And she was she was gonna do like a lewd gender bit, uh, Midoriya, or yeah, Midoriya. Uh, okay. It's like that's not the actual character she's cosplaying. That character, sure, sure she's cosplaying an underage character, but it's not that character. Me personally, when you put it like this, like somebody cosplaying an underage character, like lewd wise, and it's a lowly. Does that make does that make him a pedophile? I don't know. Niggas, niggas be out here having a having girls. They girls dressed up as like school girls. I'll be seeing that role play shit. Basically, basically like role play. But like, does that make the guy a pedof pedof? I don't know. I think that might make the guy a pedophile. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know where I stand on this though. I might. She she might have to have that point too. But it's like it's not the actual character. It's not like when I see her, it's like damn. I'm trying to. I, I want to fuck the actual character. No, I'm trying to fuck her because she look hot as fuck with that cosplay. You know, you're trying to be the an. You're trying to. You're trying to be in the skin of the anime character when you, when you do cosplay. But it's like it's not the actual character. I don't want to fuck the actual character because that's pedophilia i want to fuck her role playing as the character does i don't even think that sound right i think i yeah I, this this is ignore that i yeah we're, we're yeah we're we're, we're we're gonna stop at that i'm, I'm not a pedophile guy so I, we're bad choice of words <sighs> bad choice of words but um But um, I don't know. It, it actually seems she actually seemed like she cos. I mean, actually tried with that cosplay too. But I don't know. I mean, it's like. I'm trying to sound hypocritical, but I know I'll call it the bullshit when I see it. But it's like I'm kind of on the fence about that because it's not, it's not like she's the actual damn character. Like if it was the act, like the creator actually did some lewd shit of the actual character, then yeah, that's some pedophile shit. But it's like this is not the creator. This is not the actual character. This is somebody dressing up as that character. That happened to be underage. She was hot as fuck, on baby dogs on oh, shit. Oh man, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, 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 I might be washed on that. I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comment section down below why it's wrong, and then and then I'll be like, all right. I mean, it's 
it's wrong in that sense, but then it's like it's not actually the character. You feel me? Y'all just, just comment about that and uh, let me know. Let me know. I'm, I'm, I might need to see it from, from a different perspective. That, that That's how I like the side thing. Seeing it from all perspectives. And different, you know, ideas. So, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Post your comments down below. That's all I say, bro. <laughs> that's all I had to say. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I, I still got a little more shit to say. But it's like... I mean, like, I can understand when people, like... Or mad. It's just, it's just like, it's like, it don't really matter, but just don't fuck up the character. You feel me? Like, don't be, don't shit. Like, like that shit wasn't wasn't too vulgar. It was vulgar, but it wasn't too vulgar. And we know May Dragon. That's like, that's that's vulgar too. I don't think they did anything vulgar with that character. But come on, they they be doing shit with the titties, bro. Like, like that's like that, that's a lewd anime anyway. It, that anime has lewdness in it, so it's like it don't it don't really matter. But I mean, I can understand that the people that actually watch those characters, and like it's like they fucking ruined it, or like it's like oh, they they did that to my character. I don't have that uh, attachment to May Dragon like that, or the um look at character she's cosplay like if she did Midoriya, and she was hot. I'm like that shit that shit hot, and I probably wouldn't have a problem with it because I'm not attached to it. Like, I don't know. Even like even if it was Ruby, I still had no problem with it, to be honest. I mean, as long as it wasn't like no, who's I don't know who's who who's the youngest character, Ruby. I still wouldn't care. Like I don't know if she, if she cosplay like 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 a younger like 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 the young Nora. No, yeah, I probably have a problem with that. I'd have a problem with that, but it's the younger Nora that we don't care about. That like she was only in one episode. We ain't gonna see her in another episode. It's just yeah. Who else? Like, well, like if she did like a gender bin of I, I don't know. I don't know any any young female anime character that you know I have. Like this sort of attachment to. I don't know. Like I don't know. Like if she did like a gender bent Kilua or Gone. It depends on how it looks. I don't know. I don't. I, if she did a Kilua, I don't or Gone. I don't think that would look right. I don't know. It it, it, just, it just wouldn't look right. It, I probably wouldn't have been mad with it. I just wouldn't look right. I don't know. There's not any really lolies in Ruby anyway, so. Yeah, I don't know. That's all I say, man. I'm out to bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the last time. Future Rex. This is the last time, bro. I can't think of any. Yeah, I can't. Think of any. Like, she did, like, fucking Bolo or, or Pan or some shit like that. Yeah, that's especially pan now. What the fuck? She's an actual baby, my nigga. Like, what the fuck? That's fucked up. Yeah, I have a problem. I would have a problem with that. Ichigo's little sisters. I probably have a problem with that. It depends. Before I don't know, but but before the the um the what's my call it saga. The uh, execution saga. I don't have a problem with it, but like post that, and then the Quincy War. I don't know. I probably, it, it, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. But anyway, I'm on this bitch. Yeah. Whoa, hold on, hold on. If she, if she, if she, if she did like, what's her name? Nit. I mean, I, I've seen girls do that cosplay, but niggas haven't really been like, yeah, that's that's a that's a lowly character like Nelly. Or whatever her name is, or uh, Kenpachi's little uh, lieutenant. Kenpachi's lieutenant, I probably won't have a problem. I, I would have a problem with, but other one, I don't, I don't know. I'm just rambling. I'm out, bro. Y'all niggas ain't even. Y'all niggas ain't even at the end of the video.